Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning. Abdel Kwame, Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. I actually have with me here a guest today, Matthew Valencia with Jersey Realty. Matt, thank you for coming on today. I uh, wanted to kind of go over a few things with you and for a lot of the people that are watching this in regards to, from I just recently read, I think it was an article or, or it was a post with the National Association of Realtors. Yep. And um, I think you actually shared it too. It was in regards to um, the increases of home sales. Now, obviously we're in the middle of August, but they just finished over the July numbers. I think it was about 5.86 million in sales. Yeah, uh, definitely. I that's nationwide, which is crazy. Um, I think it was an increase um, from last year, triple digit, triple digit increase, both monthly and yearly, actually. Uh, I think the average median house uh, was about 304. 305, which also went up as you're aware, you know, a lot of loans have started going up, house prices are going up, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So a couple things I wanted to ask on your end. The first thing is obviously the million dollar question that everybody knows is how's the market? You know, um, so from my understanding, there's a supply and demand yeah. bit of concern going on. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, well, obviously, like you just mentioned, the supply and demand, obviously there's low supply, which is the direct reason as to why you're seeing home prices increase throughout the country. Got it. Um, and that's really the big key indicator at this point. And so what do you think has kind of been a lot of the motivating factors for people that, you know, um, are, are starting to look for homes? Um, well, also, obviously, I, one thing that I've been noticing is that it's a trend to actually get out of some of these urban areas sure. and go to some of the suburban locations. Um, so that's really what I'm thinking is really having a huge effect on sending a lot of buyers also into the markets Got in a lot of these suburban markets, which is also increasing the, the home values yeah. in general. Well, I could definitely tell you on our end, um, from the mortgage side, um, when it comes to the interest rates, I'm sure everybody watches the news and hears all yeah. this stuff. Interest rates are indeed the lowest that they've been. I mean, I'm locking in interest for clients at 2.25, 2.5. Client the other day had a 650 credit score, which was subpar, um, and was able to get a 2.75, uh, 434. Yeah, which is insane. Um, and that's one of the key ind indicators as well. That's really sending a lot more money into the market. Yeah. Um, so it's just making the problem even worse. Inventory sure. is low and there's so many people being able to qualify at this point. Got it. Um, which is really driving the value of homes up in this case. Well, I'll tell you one thing. So a lot of clients ask me all the time, and I'm sure you guys are thinking about it too. Um, clients think all the time, hey, why should I put in an offer now and so on and so forth if I'm going to have to put – generally if a house is listed for 300 if it's very, very hot and there's a lot of buyers, which mm -hmm. usually is, people are going fifteen, twenty thousand dollars more. And my answer to them is simple. The interest rates, we don't know if they're gonna stay low forever. Yeah, of course. My understanding they should stay till probably next year, based on the reports that I've been reading. But I think when we we're going over some numbers with some clients, a client who was paying three hundred thousand dollars for a three and a half percent interest was paying over the life of the loan about 140, 150 grand in interest. Mm -hmm. And then for that same house, the exact same price with a cut of interest rate to like, I think it was 2.875, which is pretty easy to get right now if you're working with a direct lender. Um, you're looking at a difference of almost like 30, $40,000 savings yeah. over the length of the loan. And so you kind of made that money back and guess what? The house that you bought guaranteed over the years is gonna go up. You know what I mean? So the other thing, what have been some of the some of the adjustments? I know there's a lot of like virtual showings and stuff like that. Things yeah. have slowly, from my understanding, kind of trickled down. Supposedly there's a second wave, but I feel like that's just the media mm -hmm. kind of kind of bulking it into it. But we, I think a lot of people have been taking some more precautions. So what have been some of the adjustments that you've made on your end from the real estate side that have kind of helped you stay successful? Yeah, well, one of the big keys really is when you're putting in these offers, um, because a lot of times, like you just alluded to, some clients are comfortable going over asking and some clients aren't. Um, so there's other things that you can do, like you can take on an as-is contingency. Got it. You can take the certificate of occupancy, which is the town's approval that the property is habitable. And you can also, um, it's also key to have the right team in place, sure. the support cast in place, um, because they also have key relationships with other professionals on the other side with the listing Absolutely. agents, and that's going to really help strengthen your offer coming from a credible source like PRMG or like Jersey Realty. It's definitely going to help um, in, in terms of winning the property in terms of when you put your offer in because you're coming with a credible uh, supporting cast. Okay. Awesome. I love it. Now, I th have you noticed a lot of um, 
a lot of the closings have been somewhat a little bit delayed, right? Just because it's a crazy, crazy volume. Yeah, right? definitely. I mean, um, you could probably attest to this. Absolutely. There's so many people who are also doing refis as yeah. well. And that market is probably booming at this point. So that really kind of puts the underwriting team, in your perspective, mm -hmm. really busy um, on top of the additional amount of closings. Yeah, I mean, I can't, well, even, so. I can't even tell you. Just as a branch <laughs> ourselves, we're, we're doing highest highest numbers we've ever done and then and then just as a company we've we've been hitting billion dollars every single month yeah you know, which which has been great so yeah that's pretty much it guys so we're definitely going to have matt join us um sometime soon again if you guys have any questions whatsoever our contact information will be on the bottom of the video through the captions and then we'll take it from there